Power of the Doodle. This will be a quick Ask CCH, so I'm just going to jump straight into the questions. Let's get started. Nora Valkyrie, I think it's, yeah, Valkyrie, asks, is there a way you can improve chat? I see lots of people being mean and cursing in chat all the time. I think what we can do is just have more chat admins. And um, I'm open to considering that, but we need to find someone who can be neutral. So if you know of anyone, let me know. Post on my wall. Unicorno Does Art asks, what gave you the idea to have a YouTube channel? Well, first of all, this YouTube channel is actually pretty old. But, um, and, and it was mainly used to kind of promote the games and also inspire people to make their own games. If you see some of the earlier tutorials are about that. But recently, the reason why I've been doing it is because I, you know, I noticed, guess what? There are all these other YouTubers and you're like, wow, this is a great way to reach potential players. So that's why I really did it uh, kind of more on a daily basis now. Cosmic, and by the way, that's maybe not a good thing. Remember how I was talking about how people kind of do stuff after they already see it popular? You have to find stuff before it gets popular because if you're kind of the followers you don't really get any of the benefits and that's why you see people like pewdiepie have 50 million subscribers because they started early and me have like a thousand because i started late so i don't think this is the end all and be all but for now while i'm figuring stuff out um i'll you know do youtube stuff it's kind of funny to fun to make some of these videos so at the very least i get to enjoy myself now cosmic asks are you going to change these dc colors for easter yeah i'm totally open to it in fact if you can draw or if anyone can draw easter egg stickers let me know i'll put them on top okay now uh the godly girl plus wonder woman and captain america fangirl asks DCH. Sorry if I made you feel like you were in a doomsday experience from the haunted house in the island. Cough, cough. I also maybe have some idea for Easter colors, and I'm answering for my sister Yami. Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of resembles Pokemon. I mean, it's still about cards, but it's mainly about a boy named Yugi who gets a puzzle, and once he com completes it, the spirit of a 5,000-year-old spirit is in the puzzle, so he basically has another conscience speaking to him. They call him Yami. And also, here's my question. What was your dream job when you were younger? Um, I think my dream job was mainly to be a cartoonist. So I totally saw myself as being a cartoonist. And um, But as I started doing games and in kind of doing programming and stuff like that, I was also interested in that. So I was really passionate about computers, programming and stuff like that, but also cartooning. So it's the blending of kind of math and art, which games really are a good example of that. Um, so I see myself as kind of doing creative stuff, which I'm doing now. Now, I definitely had ambitions to be like, wow, you know, like to be a really cool or, or an amazing cartoonist. And I think as I kind of take that passion and blend it with gaming, um, I'm just kind of rekindling the, the desires and, and, um, skills that I needed for cartooning and, and applying it to gaming. So that was my dream job really to be a cartoonist and it's still not too late to do that. I actually, I kind of took a hiatus from it because I was like, I need some more life experience. And then once I have life experience, I can now kind of make better cartoons. Okay. Gymnast for heart asks, do you play AJ? Um, which is animal jam and no, I don't, but, um, let me know what you think of it. Okay, um, these two unique characters uh, in red ask, how is the VW going so far? Um, it's exciting, but it's challenging. And all I can say is is that um, I just hope that I can get the, the terrain right because it does make a huge difference and it, and it does need to feel unique. So that's how it's going. Crystal, Shadow Hunter asks, what makes you... Who? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay, I will skip that for now. The Night Lilies asks, how many bosses are there in CC? Um, actually, because we had boss week, there are a lot of different um, boss ideas, but at the very least, I think there's gonna be a, a hundred or so. Um, and right now they're all kind of protecting colors, but they can do other things. I think we should rekindle boss week and just have people draw boss stickers that I can put in the game. Let me know what you think of that. 
DC Swag and Johnny Johto asks, are you planning on making another game? Um, yeah, the Doodle World is another game. Um, I would love to do kind of quick funny games. That goes into cartooning, by the way, Godly Girl, which is that I see like some of these funny games that I make as kind of little interactive cartoons because you have to blend your your kind of childhood passion with kind of the way the world is also changing because sometimes you envision stuff when you're young and and guess what in this world what's going to happen 10 years from now is going to be dramatically different than what's what what's happening right now i think even 10 years ago there was barely youtube barely and now look at how how like big it is so so even the people that wanted to make videos or wanted to be a quote TV star when they were a kid back then, because you know that's the vocabulary we usually use the vocabulary that's kind of around us at that time. You have to kind of blend, take the take the spirit of that passion and that dream job, and then apply it to what's happening today. And so just like cartooning, which was kind of like funny or cart like funny jokes or funny things like that. I can apply that to games and some of these little mini games or mini apps that I do, they're like mini cartoons in my mind. Okay. Banane Katze asks, can you have pets? Uh, in the doodle world, yes. That's the goal is you will be able to have pets. By the way, I enjoy these uh, doodle world questions. They kind of keep me, they keep me focused on what I need to do related to it. So thank you for them. It helps. It's it's like positive inspiration. Bite Lamp asks, when will the virtual world be finished and how much of it is done? I think it'll always be a work in progress, but look, let me fix the terrain and then I think at least the fundamentals will be done and that'll be a really good step. So that's really my goal this weekend. Um, you know, if you have any suggestions or ideas for it, let me know because that's really what I will focus on this weekend. Finally, Zavia asks, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, that's a good question. It really depends on their ambition, doesn't it? Okay, well, that's it for now. Thanks again for all of the questions. I really enjoyed them. Thanks again. Take care and embrace the power of the doodle.